Okay, so you may or may not know, but Finercy has come out with a new firmware, version 1.8 for both the HS02A and the HS02B. <clears throat> we are going to do a video upgrading both irons, and then I will return, and we will go through the menus to see what is different. So, let's get started. We'll scroll down here so that we can see the drive letters. And this is the HS02B, so we'll start with that version. Hold down the OK button and plug the iron in that is plugged into the computer. It comes up as a drive letter. Now you do need to move pretty quickly. Well, hold on. And as you can see, it has rebooted. <clears throat> now let's grab HS02A. Let's start it up. Let's go into handle set. And you can see power is set to 94%. Ninety four percent. We start and we get the same over amperage and restart. I do this enough times and it will eventually power up. The only workaround I found still is adaptive power holding the up arrow while plugging it in. It starts up. And at this point, you hit OK, and it does a preheat. It slowly preheats to 500 degrees Celsius. And then it restarts to allow you to hit OK and start. Now, <clears throat> for Nursey, for some reason, will not release revisions with their firmware. Um, and what we've all been looking for is a setting in the firmware that automatically enables adaptive power or a variant thereof. You could easily have a firmware update that automatically enables adaptive power and you can set it to what you want it to ramp at. Make it configurable. That would be a simple thing to do. I don't know why Finercy won't do it. Uh, here we go, we reset. It starts back up, hit OK, and it fires right up. My preset's 300, and it's got to go all the way back down to 300 because that's where I've set it. So let's go into the firmware. Let that keep doing its thing. So in firmware, we got sleep set. Let's go in there. You got sleep time, standby time, sleep temperature, and that's it. Hold down OK to back up. And we'll go down to handle set. You have preset temperature, voltage, power, which adaptive power changed it to 87%. I don't know why. Let's go ahead and change that. Just bump that back up to 100. Um, then you've got step, which is 5 degree increments. Temperature calibration, we've got a whole video on that. And that's it. Back up. We'll go down to system set. And here we've got language, hand mode, right or left hand. Units, we can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Uh, volume on, that's this beep. The brightness level, uh, which I would set the brightness level just high enough to where you can see it clearly and then no more. Uh, roll set, turn your rolling numbers on and off. Firmware update, which is just not used, about, and you can see firmware version 1.8, and then you've got factory reset, and that's it. And so there you have, it's basically the, uh, the same thing. There's no differences in the firmware on the HS02A that I can find. 
going over to the HS02B, which of course is the smaller tipped iron. Let's plug it in. And I'm sure this has got a, uh, a let's see if it does have adaptive power. I've never used it because you don't need it. Yeah, so you have adaptive power on the HS-02B as well. Of course, it's not needed <clears throat> because it doesn't spike the uh, power supplies. And I know you, you're going to think, well, you're using a cheap power supply or this, that, and the other. If you go through all of my videos on these Finerci irons, you'll see that a lot of people have done a lot of testing with all manner of high-end, low-end, medium-range, and otherwise power supplies. The HS02A simply pulls too many amps for any power supply that any of us have ever tried. Uh, an adaptive power, which forces it to slowly heat up to a temperature, is the only thing that is able to get around that. Uh, or taking and changing your power mode from higher or up at 100% down below 60%, and then it'll start up fine every time. And that's where it ships to you is, is around 60% or less. And it starts fine. Where they could easily put a setting, again, I say, in the firmware to allow you to automatically enable adaptive power. So you don't have to hold buttons. Just plug it in, let it sit there. It boots up. And then you can hit OK and go on into the, the uh, main power uh, menu or, or otherwise. I'm sorry I'm griping, but anyway. So we've got sleep set. In here you've got sleep time, standby time, sleep temp, and that's it. Go down to handle set and you have uh, preset temperature, voltage, power, which this one's set at 49, which... Uh, I, I, that's probably from the tests I did prior. Uh, step, five degree increments. Temp calibration, again, the video's out there already on that. System set, you've got language, hand mode, right or left hand. Units, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Volume, brightness. Roll set, turn your rolling letters on and off, numbers. Firmware update unused and about, again, 1.8. Uh, hopefully you can see that 1.8 on there. And factory reset. And I, I don't know that, that maybe it's a little more responsive. Uh, the, the menus seems to be a little more responsive, possibly and a little more responsive to temperature changes and such as that. But I haven't found any differences from, at least in the menus and, and uh, the uh, calibration of the system menus from before. Version 1.6 to 1.7, they added the ability to turn the rolling numbers on and off. From 1.7 to 1.8, there's no visible difference whatsoever in the iron uh, in how it is, uh, it, the menus and everything that you've got in here. Um, but like I said, it does seem to be a little more responsive. Uh, again, for Nursey, please, for Nursey, I'm begging you, please watch this video do a firmware update giving us the ability to automatically set adaptive power mode to on on this iron so many people want to run this iron at 100 percent, and they can't without having to manually go into adaptive power you cannot start this iron with any power supply that anyone can find without going in and uh, enabling adaptive power i don't know what it does here's an idea Adaptive power mode. Simply go in there in the handle set, put a sub a menu uh, uh, a menu item that says adaptive power. Go into it. Two settings. Turn it on and off. And then the second setting is set. I don't know a ramp time, uh, a uh, a temperature that you want to ramp up to. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, you're, you're automatically forced to ramp up to 500 degrees. 
and and, and I don't go that high. Uh, I may have it just set to 300 degrees Celsius. I'd like to be able to set it to where it ramps to 300 degrees Celsius, but uh, there's no visible changes uh, that I can find in the menu system as far as the firmware is concerned. So uh, with that said, if you like this kind of content, I would ask that you would like and subscribe. If you don't, then I would ask that you would like and subscribe anyway, because you're going to find something on this channel that you like. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, I thank you uh, for all your views, all your, your dedication, uh, showing up and watching the videos. And uh, uh, just subscribe. That's what I need. I, I really need people to subscribe to kind of push this channel to keep it going. So I thank you. I appreciate you. And I will see you next time. Your time is very important to me. And I thank you for spending it here with me. Thanks and God bless.